Hi, do you remember? <laughs> remember Halloween? Do you remember? Yester month, I asked you to show me your Halloween costumes using only four pictures. To give you all an example, here is my answer. And yes, that is YouTuber Captain Disillusion's costume. And I'm a man of my word. I did dress up as Captain Disillusion this Halloween. Uh, it was well, well worth it. Aaron spent an hour doing that makeup. How good is that, right? All right, who cares? I want to see your costumes. So here are all of your four pick answers you gave me. I haven't seen these yet. This is blind. We're still doing blind yai. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with the uh, assemble. <laughs> I was going to say, can we bring back fedoras? But were they ever in? Besides detectives in noir films from the 40s, were fedoras ever in? The goddamn beard. The beard picture with the no man's land <laughs> between the goatee and, and neck beard. It's commitment on a terrifying level. This answer gets all the upvotes to the left. This. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even get to the fourth picture, the cardboard for sale, never worn sign. I just saw, just saw the word baby printed on those tiny shoes. And that's it. <laughs> Why does the tombstone just say baby on it? <laughs> Is that made by AI? Because there's no way that's real. When I die, can my tombstone just say YouTuber on it? And maybe man baby? <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. This one's a Teletubby. So I never watched Blue's Clues. My wife did. That concerns me. We're like the same age almost. And I just kind of assumed that my generation was too old to have ever appreciated Blue's Clues. So I'm concerned for my wife. Haven't there been like three Steves in Blue's Clues? Didn't Blue's Clues try to do like a multiverse kind of thing where they brought back the old Steve? Maybe not multiverse. Maybe not with like portals and shit. But I feel like they did something. Oh, nice. Just a clown. Just a clown. Oh, I really like that Animal Crossing edit. That's a little, I'm 14 and this is deep. This is what I see in my reflection. And what's that cartoon clown from? Oh, it's probably SpongeBob. Those are fish fins. Yeah, I still have only ever seen like four episodes of SpongeBob ever. And I've loved them all. I've appreciated all four of them. But I like that. You're going as a clown, but like the embarrassed clown. You're not just a typical clown for Halloween. You are the, um, I fucked up and made a fucky kind of clown. Oh, moving. <laughs> Furniture. What's a Family Guy thing? Uh, like I said before, more people know the Family Guy joke than the actual music video. Didn't even look at the caption. Didn't even have to look at the caption. Just you paint such a vivid picture with the hat and the jacket. It's perfect. Now I wonder how you could like actually rock that costume on Halloween. That would be a bit more ambitious. That would take a bit more uh, planning. How would you actually like move towards the door? The little trick or treat bag dressing as the funny one. Oh, Ernie. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I was confused. I got the Ernie part with the striped shirt and the ducky, but then dressing as the funny one, got, got it. it. She's not that funny. I th you guys give my wife way too much credit. She's like nose exhale funny. She's not guffaw funny, all right? Isn't America basically the planet? No, she is. Anyone else ever have trouble differentiating Bert and Ernie? Like, which one's Bert, which one's Ernie? I really suffer from Rhett and Link syndrome. To this day, still couldn't tell you which one's Rhett, which one's Link. No disrespect to those two gentlemen. They're pioneers of the platform. And they're great dudes. They're terrific dudes. I just, <laughs> I don't know which one's Rhett and which one's Link. If you show me a picture of Bert and Ernie, like, tomorrow, I would struggle. Fantastic. What? Is this like a stupid pun one like Fantastic Four? Is that what this is? Oh my God, I think it is. I think because the council just labeled this as four. I'm furious. I'm furious at this one. This is a great last minute lazy costume. All you have to do is print these four out, make them stickers and put them on you. But wear like, you know, your regular everyday clothes. It's reminiscent of Jim Halpert in the Halloween episodes of The Office where he dresses up as like the bare fucking minimum. Show up to your annual Halloween party and someone asks, what the hell are you supposed to be? And you go, I'm fantastic. Four, get it? I hope they kick you out and slam the door behind you. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> now where could my pipe be? Yes! That's awesome! Beautiful. Instantly recognizable if you're terminally online like myself. Is this a two-person costume though? Because like one of you has to be John, the other has to be Garfield, right? So it's a bit inconvenient. Also the chair, you gotta lug around that chair all night. Uh, worth it. Very, very worth it. That would get a belly laugh out of me if I saw it in real life. Oh, is this a sexy grimace? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, sexy grimace. Uh, wood. Absolutely. Why not? With a face like that, so friendly, so sexy. Grim Grim. This is what Grimace turns into <laughs> when he drinks the shake, the Grimace shake. Oh, God damn it. Hey, guys. God damn it. Oh, my God. Multiple? Multiple Jack to the Futures with the denim 
and the world's first phone with Tango. Why did two separate people do this? Three! Three separate people did this! No! <laughs> Hey guys, sorry, I keep finding more. Every time I keep pressing the right button, another popped up. Shut the f up. All right, this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> no, no, you got the cool time machine trash can and the exchange of money. How dare you? I'm not sorry. I would do it again. Five, six. Six? Six? Am I counting this right? God, where is it? Where's my phone? Where is the world's first phone with Tango? Where is that stupidly, obnoxiously large? Where are you? Where is that fucking phone? Found it. Nope. I have so many old phones. So many old fucking phones. I got an LG G4, Galaxy Note 2. Oh, here it is. And the big boy himself. Does this back look familiar? Look at this beefy beast of a phone. God damn, that's big. Even compared to like my fucking folding phone. Here, let's open it up. Here's a big folding phone. And this thing is significantly taller. And this has a thick ass case on it. And this phone is still much bigger. That's insane. What a massive boy you are. Anyways, I highly recommend it. Definitely get the world's first phone with Tango. <laughs> Seven? <laughs> After seven, no fewer than seven jacks to the future. What a horrifying concept that is. We moved on to a uh, Homestar Runner. Seriously. If you do a Homestar Runner impression, it's going to come out cringe. No one wants to hear that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Homestar Runner. It's dot com. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't even do the impression. That is a very good costume. My one criticism are the pants. Homestar Runner did not wear pants. You got a porky pig this costume. You'll get some complaints, but... But it's what Homestar would want if he were still with us today. Oh, clever. This one took me a second. So it's three things of blue face and body paint and jorts. Got it. Very clever. Very cute. Never knew Tobias from Arrested Development. That would be a bit of a pain. I don't normally you know, mess with body paint or face paint ever. And I had a feeling that the Captain Disillusion costume would be a bit of a chore. Aaron nailed it. It did take an hour. I can't imagine what doing your whole freaking body would be like. That must take not just forever to do, but forever to wash off. This costume would be a real pain in the ass to do, but think of the Reddit karma. So many internet points. So many um, x.com reposts. I hate that sentence. Oh, I've never watched Adventure Time. It's one of those pop culture phenoms that eluded me. Me and escaped me but this is the uh ice what's his fucking name the ice king ice king this is the uh cold king king freeze frieza this is frieza is it the ice king ice wizard i'm not gonna look it up <laughs> I feel like my generation of growing up with cartoons was right before the advent of Adventure Time and even Steven Universe. That's not it. I was like Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, all that stuff. And it was like right before the next wave on Cartoon Network. Why am I, t you don't care. So we have a bathtub, Sharpie, rubbing alcohol, cat ears. Don't tell me this is that like the Tumblr thing. <laughs> oh no. What's it called? Oh, uh, 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 oh my God. What is it called? Uh, it's not Undertale or Deltarune. It's, 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 oh, that thing that like epic webcomic tale that I've never bothered to read or start. I feel like it's like Doctor Who. It's like, where do you start? That's how I feel about this property whose name is escaping me. And I'm refusing, I'm refusing to cheat and read the caption or look it up. I, I know this. I know I know this. Home. Oh my God. Homestuck. I think it's homestuck. Okay. Now I have to look up homestuck bathtub. Oh God. Homestuck bathtub. Sharpie. Homestuck bathtub sharpie is a thing oh no there's a youtube video about it the homestuck oh no the homestuck cosplayer who dyed her skin with sharpies so i was right it's a homestuck thing but it's an infamous story about a homestuck cosplayer that's what this costume is oh here you go someone dyed herself gray are there images <laughs> all right so allegedly a homestuck fan dyed their skin gray accidentally on purpose i just spent far too much time doing a not a deep dive but like a mid dive into a homestuck cosplayer's terrifying journey with sharpies and bathtub water those are five precious minutes i'll never get back okay we have let's go off the pictures again we have a shirt pants is this lost <laughs> Is this loss? Yes, that's that's exactly that's exactly how the council labeled this. Arguably the greatest webcomic of all time. When they make a wonderfully sharp pivot from gamer humor to loss.
and then eventually back to gamer humor. Now, how do you even dress up like this? You kind of need a hospital bed. You need like a hospital bed on wheels so you can wheel it around the party or neighborhood. Even at the time of this recording, Halloween is, you know, long gone. By the time this video goes up, Halloween will be even longer goner. So I shouldn't speak about Halloween in like the present tense. But there's always next Halloween. And this costume is timeless. If you figured out a way to dress up as Lost for Halloween 2024, no one would bat an eye. They would be like, awesome costume. No one would be like, that meme is so old. No, you can kick that person in the shin if they chastise you for dressing up as an old May May. No, this meme has legs. What it doesn't have is a baby. Oh God, I read the caption and I shouldn't have. Quilled for her pleasure. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is 1000% a couple's costume. What a couple's costume it is. Why lipstick though? Is there a lipstick in the Mario Sonic GIF? I don't think there was lipstick. It's a nice touch though. You know what? I allow it. I welcome it. That's fine. Have like the lipstick lips residue all over Mario and Sonic. Do it, cowards. You won't. This is another kind of timeless one. You could do this for Halloween 2024. And I don't think anyone would be like, isn't that old? I'm going just off of the pictures here for this next one. We have a suit, a blue suit, very nice blue suit, hairspray, a court. Could this be Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? It's giving uh, Ace Attorney. <laughs> With the point, objection, <laughs> objection, hell yeah. The council literally labeled this objection. Let's go. Gotta be a certain kind of nerd to know this one. Um, excuse me, I pride myself on being a, a bit of a nerd. Great costume idea, wonderful. You don't need the uh, the courtroom for this. You have to point and like rig it somehow so that every time you point, a shitty speaker on you yells out the infamous sound bite. Objection. <laughs> Figure it out, nerds. That's Peter Griffin, that's Peter Griffin. <laughs> Holy, oh, where's my hat? Damn it. This is a great plug to purchase your holy crap Lois hat that we sell in the uh, the Jax Films Council store. Click the link below if you want a baseball cap that says holy crap Lois in a very Mario-like font. It's my new favorite hat. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. Uh, I'm a very simple man. If you're a simple man like me uh, at heart, link below. You don't have to be a man to wear it, but um, I am. Is this Slenderman? It's giving Slenderman. Yeah, the suit. Uh-huh. Oh, or those... Sorry, the papers threw me off until I remembered... I never played the game because uh, your boy doesn't do jump scares. <laughs> but this is like... You needed the seven or eight pages to collect in that stupid game or else the Slender Boy gets you. A classic for us tall folk. Yeah, yeah, you kind of have to be tall. Not to discriminate. This costume does not work if you're short unless you're like comically short. Then it's funny. You're like, oh, oh, little Slenderman. Oh, like that, that, that would be funny. But if you're like a mediocre height, like five... Five, eight. I don't think you could get away with this. This looks like SpongeBob the Musical. You're probably going for like classic SpongeBob, but I'm specifically envisioning the musical SpongeBob costume where it's like it's humans kind of wearing like SpongeBob's as clothes. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm wearing right now. And I mean everything. That's. <laughs> Oh, that last edition was such a beautiful little uh, jump scare. <laughs> uh, your boy doesn't do jump scares. <laughs> oh, the strong bad. How do you type with boxing gloves on? Oh, that was the worst strong bad impression. And I'm not sorry. I will never apologize. Very, very cute. Again, a timeless, a timeless costume. Absolutely timeless. This will never go out of style. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has a special place in their heart for the lore of Homestar Runner. You have to go shirtless though. Homestar has to go pantsless and strong bad has to go shirtless shirtless. Those are the rules. They're risky costumes, but you must be lore accurate. <laughs> Another fucking butt plug? <laughs> if I had a nickel for every butt plug I've seen so far in this guy, I'd had two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. All right, sunglasses, whiskey and cigar, bald, butt plug tail. <laughs> oh! I didn't know until I hovered over like a cheater because the council labeled this as tate.png. It's true. It's so true. You can't envision Mr. Tate uh, without his signature tail. <laughs> The nice thing about this is that this will go out of style. By the time Halloween 2024 rolls around, if you were to dress up as Andrew Tate, people would be like, who? Who's this guy? And you'd be like, oh, he was like a whole meme like a year or two ago. <gasps> I know her. I know her. It's my wife. First off, great comfy costume. These like big suits with like the fans, you're gonna feel like air conditioned all night long. You're gonna feel cool. You do have to double fist a perpetually full glass of Chardonnay and then a copy of Animal Crossing, I assume. That's probably a little annoying, but like simple, good last minute costume. Oh, three doors down. 
right? Yeah, I, I, I did not cheat. I got it. I got it. That's cute. Cute little puzzle. They're a band, right? Three doors down. What was their big thing? I'm here without you, baby. Oh, Kryptonite. Okay, they had a few. Oh, what year is it? Back to high school. Middle school. Middle school into high school. Are you an old like me? PayPal 150? We have mittens. Some kind of mask. Another bald cap. Oh, are you the thumb people from Spy Kids? Yeah, you're a thumb person. You're a thumb thing from Spy Kids 1. Oh, that's cute. The bodysuit gave it away. You gotta be bold to pull off that one. Be careful wearing this costume. People might get handsy with you. Pause for laugh track. Cause, cause of thumb. Oh shit! I, I, all I needed to see was ukulele and tone deaf. <laughs> kind of whittles it down there, doesn't it? Awesome. Damn it! This was another very timely one that you can't do in Halloween 2024. Perfect. I'm not sorry, and I do it again. Fuck you. Oh shit! All aboard. Hell yeah, that's perfect. The annoying thing is you have to learn at least like one chord to strum all night, either door to door or at the Halloween party you go to. We got a little weird owl going on here. Only one person could pull off those glasses, that fro, that very comfy looking button up short sleeve Hawaiian shirt and accordion. I'm a fan of the short sleeve button up Hawaiian shirts. I really am. Anything that's like Margaritaville chic, I fully support. Earlier this summer, that was my going out shirt was pretty much this exact shirt. It was soft. It was flowy. It vented very well. These shirts are underrated. People tend to meme on these shirts. Oh, they're dad shirts. Oh, they're Margaritaville shirts. Hell yeah, they are. I will say this again. Aaron and I liked Margaritaville before it was cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Obviously, Kevin James' face at the end gives this one away. He's a little stinker. I'm not sure I've ever seen a single episode of King of Queens. I just, I can't do anything with a laugh track. I really can't. Not even Seinfeld. I can't do any show with a fucking laugh track, but I love, I love that meme. All night, you have to have your hands in your pockets. This is another one that you can't do Halloween 2024. You had one year. Oh, is that friggin' Scott the Watts? <laughs> I don't know anything about Fling Smash. Does he talk about Fling Smash? I feel like he talks about Robo Chibi, Chibi, Ro something else. Oh, there you go. Hey, all. Yeah, that confirms it. Hell yeah. I love me some Scott the Waz. He's very good people. And very simple Halloween costume. Don't need much. You just need a very simple wardrobe and really any Nintendo game. Also timeless. You can pull this off Halloween 2024. Oh, and that was it. All right, gamers, I'm so sorry that this one was late. The plan was to get this out on Halloween or before, but gosh darn it, it's here now. So save your belly aching for a better YouTuber. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to plan out my lost costume for next year to get all those sweet internet points. Thank you. <laughs> uh, also unrelated, but YouTube really thinks you'll like this video. I don't know why, but they are like, they figured you out. They like scan your history, did some algorithmic computational nerd crap, and they were like, oh, this person's gonna love this particular video and nothing 